Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Liara and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's wrapping tutorial, which is of course for this wrap and sweeties it is really really easy and you'll see in a second. But this is the survivor wrap and I just sort of want to uh, take one one second, okay? I know you're all eager to get into the tutorial, but I want to take a second to explain to you why this is the survivor wrap. First of all, all of us are survivors. We are survivor queens. We have to battle our life every single day no matter what our battles are sometimes they are huge sometimes they are everyday battles and it is never really just smooth sailing and that's why we are survivors and we should be really thankful and also proud of ourselves but besides that I want to dedicate this video to a very special survivor and that is this one <laughs> This is Wiggles. This is one of my newest rescue bunnies. We saved her from starvation and we actually paid to save her from starvation and she's so cute and you know probably if you're also following me on my channel you know that I'm crazy for bunnies and crazy for animals in general and I have like a hu I have a huge heart to save them and if you would feel how skinny she is I can actually really feel every single bone but she has been when I'm filming this and I'm filming this a day before you're seeing this so she has been with us now for something like three days she has been eating non-stop and um, she was so so weak when we got her that she basically couldn't keep herself up on her own feet anymore but now oh my goodness she is so beautiful so yeah this is Wiggles and I just wanted to show you this one little survivor who has really put so much I don't know life power and life force into really wanting to live you know and I love that because sometimes I don't know sometimes we just lose this you know and little miracles like this just show you that sometimes you have to fight you have to fight to stay on your feet so that's why this is my survivor wrap because I just really wanted to show you wiggles and I wanted to dedicate this to her because her will to live is just an example to me and I don't know maybe to you too but that is it so of course this video is in collaboration with Rapunzel and you will of course every find everything that I'm using that is wrapping related in the description box down below and besides Besides that, I hope you will enjoy yourself and you will be able to recreate this wrap, which is really super easy. You will see in just a second. And without further ado, let's go right into the tutorial for the survivor wrap. Okay, my lovelies, welcome to the tutorial part of the survivor wrap. So for that to start out, of course, I'm wearing my Wendy shaper and to start out, we are going to take the tough two-in-one in olive. This is how it looks. If you don't know that scarf, it is a very, very super lightweight, sort of sheer and also not too big scarf scarf super super nice for wrapping beginners and also for like summer months when your summer is really really hot like mine then this is really really nice so anyway we're going to put this down and you can do this wrap just using two scarves I'm going to use three because I want to have a little bit more volume but you can use just two scarves you know if you want to do that then that's also fine you'll just have to modify it a little bit so instead instead of like me putting it down in a regal wrap which is basically just crossing over in the back and then sort of neatly putting it down somewhat neatly let's put it that way um, you can just do what I tell you in a, in a little bit <laughs> all right so anyway I'm just putting this down in a regal wrap because I just want to have, uh, first of all, this color um, as, a, as a base for the wrap because it sort of fits to my outfit. And also because, as I already said, that I want to have a little bit more volume. So that is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to take two more scarves. I'm going to take the Lustrous Bouquet scarf. This one here in gray, this used to be part of my Leora kit, the gray one. That has sold out already. I'm pretty sure that it has. It immediately sold out. It was like people went crazy for this. So thank you so much. Uh, but this is available in other colors. So this is basically a two two sided um, scarf. You know, one has a bit of a this this kind of a thing going on and one is more solid but still very sheer okay it's a very very elegant scarf so i'm going to crunch this up a little bit and then i'm also going to take the laid back lace and it looks like this and i only chose this because of the color because i'm i was looking for like a dusty rose kind of a color but this is how it looks and it's super super pretty it also comes in different colors as of course does the tough two-in-one okay i'm also crunching this up okay so now first of all i'm taking one of them it really doesn't matter which one you're choosing and i'm placing it 
behind my head so both of the ends hang down equally and then just I'm, I'm shifting it to one side and then I'm bringing it over and I'm tying a knot right here. So the important part is that when you're shifting it, you're sort of taking into consideration where your, your knot will be, okay? So the middle will be here, the middle of the scarf will be here, and the knot will be here. Then I'm taking the second scarf, whatever that is in your case, in my case it is the Illustrious Bouquet scarf. I'm also placing it behind my head and I'm doing the same thing but towards the other side. So I'm moving it towards the other side, bringing it over, and in this case, I'm trying to make sure that these, this beautiful part with the lace or whatever one calls this is on top because that is, of course, a beautiful feature of that scarf. And I'm going to tie a knot right here like this. Like, so it is behind here. So we are not losing the feature of, of the, the laid back lace. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the outer part of this one and the inner part of this one and I'm going to tie another knot like this, okay? Now I'm taking this part that is still left here and this part that is still left here and I'm going to tie a knot with those like this, okay? Now I'm going to tie another knot with this part and this part. So just make sure that you're always getting those that are of opposite scarves, sort of of the scarves that don't belong together, you know, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like this and like this. You're basically just following the pattern and it's super, super easy. And now in the end, you should have those two standing up here in the middle, which is one time this scarf and one time that scarf. It should not end up being the same scarf. And then you just tie a knot here. And then you tuck the ends away behind like this and then you do the same thing with those and they should also end up like you know you should still have something left over that you then can drape nicely you know towards the back and then sort of make it disappear here on the side something like that so I'm just going to turn it around a little bit so we can see the nice super beautiful part of this scarf which looks like this which then also adds another feature here because here we have like the more solid part even though the lace part is sort of peeking through and here i have a label that <laughs> that we don't need all right so i'm just going to try to place it so it is just the way i want it maybe something like that okay so this is the survivor wrap and um, as you saw it is actually really super easy just when you figure out which goes where then it's super easy and it's really the ones that are always closest to each other this is where you tie the nuts so I think you will be able to super super quickly figure this out and if you want to do it just with two scarves you'll just have to from the beginning when you put down your first scarf in order to sort of create a regal wrap but not um, you will also already have to sort of tilt it to the side a little bit to have your middle opposite to where the knot is going to be okay so you'll tilt you put it down a little bit towards the side you'll cross over and then you'll immediately tie a knot here without putting it down in a regal wrap so that is then the version of course with just two scarves because then you just have to add one more to have the knot on this side if you know what I mean. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got an idea for just another new wrap. <laughs> that is really easy to do once you're once you get the, the idea. And yeah, and it just adds to our wealth of wrapping knowledge, you know, and that is really, really an awesome thing that we can all grow like this and just add more and get inspired by each other. And I really, really like that. So with all of that being said, you will find, of course, everything that I've used linked in the description box down below you will find all the information about Rapunzel and about myself also in the description box if you're interested in my makeup you will find that in my description box if you're watching this on my channel if you want to order something from Rapunzel then of course you can use my affiliate code which is Queen Leora in all caps in one word which will give you five percent of your order and also that you will find in my description box so if you're watching this on my channel then please subscribe to my channel if you're watching this
this on Rapunzel channel, please subscribe to Rapunzel. We can all for sure need your support and we love to having you. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll hope to see you here next time very, very soon on my channel or in about a week's time on the Rapunzel channel. And up until next time, go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.